guys everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the Transformers Legacy Core Class Shockwave and G2 Megatron. Of course, the G2 Megatron is just a straight up repaint of the Kingdom Core Class Megatron and Shockwave is actually a brand new mold. So we're going to be opening up Shockwave first. So let's take a look at the packaging of that figure. So of course a nice window there displaying Shockwave in the packaging. We have the Legacy logo, we have Transformers, we have Shockwave on the side. We have a nice shot of Shockwave looking super cool and menacing. Of course he is a Core Class figure. And we have a nice picture of his ship mode with his big satellite dish. And in the back, there is two shots of his robot and his ship mode. He transforms into 11 steps, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. So let's just open this up, just like that. And we can slip him out of here. And there is Shockwave. And he actually looks really cool. I'm assuming, yeah, his satellite dish is right there, so that looks pretty cool, of course. Here is his instruction sheet, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, here is the uh, little barcode thing. So if you want to scan that, or the Q uh, QR code, whatever it is, uh, you can scan that, of course, to see his stats. So that's pretty much it for that. So I'll take him out of the packaging off to the side, uh, off cam. So let's open up G2 Megatron, then, of course, we'll take him out of the packaging as well off cam. But here is an open window displaying Megatron, which looks pretty cool. We have the Legacy uh, logo, Transformers, of course, G2 Megatron. We have a nice picture of him on the side with his huge cannon. Here, here he is in the tank mode looking super cool. And on the back he transforms into uh, in uh, 12 steps. Of course this is a direct repaint. So the same number of steps as Kingdom Core Class Megatron. That's pretty much it for the packaging. So let me just open this up. We can slip him out just like this. And there is Megatron. And I did not know his legs were going to be positioned in a, such a weird way. That's kind of funny. And I'm assuming, yes, his blaster is right there on the back. So that's pretty much it for opening these two figures up. They look pretty cool in the twisty ties. So let me just go off cam, take them out of their twisty ties, and I'll give you my first thoughts. So here are both core class figures out of the packaging, so I'm just going to be giving you my first impressions. This is not a review. I haven't even transformed them yet, so my feelings or my opinions might change. So first off, I think the Shockwave actually looks pretty cool. My only complaint so far is the accessory. A lot of people say it kind of looks like a pizza, and I actually kind of agree. I'm not really sure why Shockwave would have a satellite that seems more like a Soundwave thing. Uh, but um, yeah, accessory-wise, kind of weird, but I really do like his gun arm. That looks pretty cool. A nice Decepticon symbol on the side, of course. It definitely very resembles Shockwave. Also, there's these big cannons on the back because, as people may know, of course, with the leader class Shockwave, it came with a big glider piece, which did really make up a lot of the uh, huge ship modes. So that's really a lot of the wings and pieces on the back. But overall, it looks pretty cool. It definitely does look like a downsized version of Siege Shockwave, and I actually quite like that figure, so I'm okay with that. Really, just the accessory, I think they could have done a little bit better. And here we have the... Um, G2 Megatron uh, core class figure. Of course, this is just a direct repaint of the Kingdom version, which I thought was a pretty good figure. My only complaint was this uh, big, ugly backpack piece here, which has unfortunately stayed the same. What I do like is there is a nice G2 uh, Decepticon symbol there. I actually did not know that was going to be uh, on this figure, so that's a nice uh, little design there. There is not one on the other side, but of course, uh, lots of the cameo colors on here. There was a Selects version of this Megatron, of course, and a Voyager scale. So it's kind of nice that we have a similar version of it. So I will make sure to compare those in that review. These will be separate views, not together. Of course, this figure, uh, the figure's review will be very, very quick and fast because uh, you know the transformation I already know uh, down super easy, and of course there is not really much new to talk about. It's a pretty good figure between the two Megatrons. Which one do you like more, this uh, new Legacy version or the Kingdom version? I actually quite like this Shockwave. Um, my only complaint is the joints are unfortunately kind of loose on the legs, but of course I haven't messed with it that much, so I might change my opinion about a few things after I've transformed it. So between these two core class figures, which one do you like more? I think most people will say the Shockwave, and most people say the accessory is kind of weird, but to be fair, I really don't know what else they would give Shockwave uh, besides the satellite dish, because in most shows he really doesn't have like a mini con or gimmick or anything like that, so I think they were kind of stumped on what to give him. But that's pretty much it for this first impressions video overall. Pretty positive, of course. I, de I definitely think this was the less interesting figure of the two, but still nice to have, because I actually really quite like Minicons. I'm not very strict on how good they have to be, because they're only like $10, so I really just take what I can get, because they're actually pretty fun little knick-knack figures that you can mess with whenever you want. So that's pretty much it, so I'll see you next time. <laughs>